Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my foundation routine. Um, it's going to be featuring a lot of products. And to be honest, I think the majority of them are drugstore, including my foundation, your concealer, and the setting powder I use. Um, I'll use either a drugstore bronzer or I'll use a drugstore blush. It, it really just depends on what I'm in the mood for. But other than that, my foundation routine is pretty basic and pretty much drugstore. So, um, without further ado, let's get started. Um, so I'm going to start off by taking my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And this is in the shade W5. Um, and I'm going to be taking my Beauty Blender today. Um, it's extremely filthy. I'm so sorry. It's disgusting. Um, but that's what I'm going to be taking it with it today. Um, I really, really like this foundation. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now, and I really, really like it. Um, gives me really good coverage, complements my skin very, very good. And um, it, it really does stay a long time, and it, does, and it really works for my oily skin because... I have really oily skin. Um, I get some dry patches around this area here sometimes. Sometimes around my nose, but it's very, very rare that I get really, really oily really, really fast. Um, here lately, I've been trying to use just a really, really thin layer just to uh, minimize the um, oil on my face. I feel like when I put a lot of product, I feel like it really makes my oily skin um, extra oily. So I'm just going to be patting this on my face. Oh, and I did not mention, but before I used uh, my um, foundation, I applied some of my um, Benefit the Professionals. Benefit the Professionals Primer. Um, I usually like to uh, really concentrate that around my nose area, just like around this area here where I'm uh, putting my beauty blender, just because that's the area where um, I have the biggest, biggest pores ever. I swear they're a little bit, they're literally like craters. It's ridiculous how, um, how, how big my pores are. No, and I really like using my Beauty Love Blender because I feel like I get the maximum um, coverage and then also um, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lot. It's really, really thin. And of course, any remaining product that I have, I kind of put that on my neck and just drag it down. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Around my nose area, I really, really, really have to pat it like that just soak up any excess because I swear foundation really likes to um, separate around my nose it's so annoying I don't know why it does that it literally I just want to cut my nose off sometimes of how annoyed I get with it um, so yeah that is it that's all the foundation I use I use a really really tiny bit on my hand and see I don't have any excess on there it's just all dried up um, so here this is when I'm gonna take my favorite favorite concealer um oh my god i completely fell in love with this it's from the drugstore so that's pretty awesome it is the l'oreal magic lumi concealer and oh my god you guys this thing is awesome um i love it for um under my eyes it really brightens up um i use the color light i think there's a fair too is that the one i have now no i have light um i have light with me Today, um, they have light, fair, and medium, but I really, really like the light. Um, it's not too bright. Oh, it's, of course, it's not too light and it's not too um, dark. Sometimes I use my NARS Radiant Concealer, Creamy Concealer, or sometimes I'll, sometimes I'll use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, which I'm completely out of. But these two, are, I don't really like using under my eyes. Well, this one I do, but I got it too dark by accident. But, um, like, these two, some, like, right now, since they're a little darker, I like using them, like, in problem areas. So, as you can see, I have, like, really, really red right here. And then, like, kind of little veins and stuff. Um, that's what I like to conceal with this. And, um, this is not going to be enough. Well, yeah, it probably is. And this is by L'Oreal. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, but I like to work with one eye at a time because I do feel the only thing about this is that it dries 
pretty quickly. I would really stress on using an eye cream on this. Now I have found that this concealer does not crease at all. It like it doesn't even crease as much as the Pro Long Wear and you know how everyone and their mother say that this thing doesn't crease and everything. I feel like it creases a little bit on me even though I set it but um, this L'Oreal one does not at all um, and that says a lot about um, the concealer. The tip of this beauty blender I like to really concentrate it in here um, just because you don't want to forget about that area. Um, it really can be a problem if you tend to forget about it. Then I just kind of blend everything out with the base of my little beauty blender. So to set my under eye, I really, really like using this NYX Set It Don't Fret It powder. Um, I am in light medium. I really, really like using this just because, um, I don't know, it's really fine, finely milled and it's really, really soft under my eyes. And I feel like these two together, oh my god, they're like match made in heaven I swear these are perfect um I tr I've tried using my MAC um studio fix plus powder uh, I mean foundation I've tried using the makeup forever um what is it that matte powder um any powder I swear I've tried it and this is what I've liked the best and I use it with the real techniques setting brush um and I think this is a perfect size to get under there I don't know why when I tried using this, like it, like when I first bought this concealer, I don't know what made me um, want to gravitate towards this powder because um, I felt like I was neglecting it a little bit. I wasn't using it as much. Um, and I have completely fell in love with this powder because it um, really, really um, helps conceal under that conceal in there but helps that concealer really stay um, so I'm really not picky about what powder I use for my face um, I have different ones I reach towards them differently um, the only thing I do like rec like the one I really like holy grail for my under eye is that minix set it up set it don't fret it so that's what I'm gonna be using today for all over my face um, I grabbed too much, darn it. I'm just gonna start. Oh, oh God, Jesus. I'm gonna start dabbing it on my face. Uh, the only thing with this powder is that, as you can see, it's very, very loose and gets everywhere. It's kind of annoying. It's okay. So I am dabbing not moving around in circles because I don't want my foundation to move just in case it is still wet and not set yet I kind of move my face with with the brush just to make it the life a little easier is my it that's it for my like foundation routine I don't really use a lot of stuff um, back in the day so I use a lot of stuff but um, I'm just gonna finish doing my makeup and I'll do it on camera for you guys so I'm going to do a stronger contour today. Um, don't know why. And what I'm using here is my Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil pow uh, Powder. And it's just the, man the matte bronzer. It's in chocolate. And it has I have hit pan on it. It's ridiculous. So um, I'm just taking my Benefit little thing that came in my um, Laguna. Not Laguna. Um, Benefit that box powder I don't remember so making that deep line right there For blush, I'm going to be using my Sin blush. Um, I really, really like this color, especially for the summer. It's really pretty and mauve-y, um, and I feel like it looks really, really good with everything. Oh, 
And to finish off and put the icing on the cake, of course, you have to highlight. I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using my Lorac Perfectly Lit in Luminous, and it's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. I use it literally all the time, not all the time, every single day, no matter what I'm using. Um, and I'm just going to be taking my Sigma Large Angle Contour um, F40 brush. I'm just going to be taking it on this side here, and I'm just going to be running it along the top of my cheekbones. See? And I put a lot because then I like blending it out. I mean, I put a little bit because then I like to blend it out. Now that Sin blush already has shimmer on it. So I kind of just put it over the top a little bit. Um, not so, so much. But of course I go and put, um, go over with it with my big fluffy a powder brush that I use to put to set my makeup just to neutralize it a little bit so that is it what I do for my face now lastly what I do usually is I use some setting sprays um, I use my Urban Decay All Nighter spray and I use my Urban Decay D Slick um, sp setting spray um, I use this on my T-zone and then I use this all around my face so like this I'll do a lot of powder but I like it because it kind of like sets in and gives my face more of a glow which I absolutely love 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 um so yeah that is it for my foundation routine now this isn't what I do every day um that is completely completely separate this is what I do when I go out on um dates with my friends when I go out um go somewhere like Say if I have pictures at work or if I have to do stuff um, after work and stuff like that, I'll do this. But um, usually on a regular basis, I do because something completely different. Um, so yeah, that is a completely separate video on that. And so this is just more of a special occasion thing. And of course, I change it up with different blushes and bronzers. So there is no way that I use this blush every single day. Um, so yeah, that is it. All I have to say about this. <laughs> I felt like I went kind of fast and wasn't really detailed about it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, don't forget to rate it. Um, leave comments on your feedback and also on request. And for, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and just ran across it. Um, so yeah. Also, give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more of a foundation routine that I do for when I go to work, which is every day. So... Yeah, I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.